on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association, with head field hockey coach Christy Morgan. Coach Morgan, it's time to announce your 2015 schedule, and you weren't messing around when you put this schedule together. What were your thoughts going into planning for this next season, and do you feel like you achieved your goals? Yeah, scheduling is a big part of um, success, and I think to be the best, you have to play the best. So. We're not, we're not just um, going to exist next year. We're going to be challenged, and we'll see if we're uh, up for the challenge. We're preparing for greatness right now, and that the schedule that we have in front of us is, is, um, is definitely probably one of the most challenging schedules in the country, but I think, uh, I think we'll be ready for it. Well, you start off on the right foot. You'll go to Liberty um, to start the season off. They made an appearance in the NCAA tournament, and it'll be the first of five teams you'll face in 2015 that appeared in the 2014 NCAA tournament. Was that planned? Absolutely. Liberty's a, um, they're a high-intensity team. They've got great energy, and um, I knew it would be a great challenge. And, you know, a lot of times when you have a really tough preseason, that first game you're so eager to play, it could be one of the best games of the season. And and so I, I think it's I think every single game we play next year is going to be a challenge, and um, it's about preparing for that challenge. And we know what we're faced with, and and we have a, we're we're working very hard right now. They have to work. The girls have to work really hard on their own in the summer. That's you know playing a fall sport. A lot of the preparation has to come from within from from them on their own. So um, they know it's tough. And so opening with Liberty was was um, was by choice. Well, when you finally are able to come back home and play at the JMU Field Hockey Complex, you'll start off with Iowa. And while they didn't make the NCAA tournament last season, they've got 22 appearances under their belt, an NCAA championship, and many of your teams that you'll face this season have multiple appearances and championships. How does playing that sort of caliber team here at JMU on your home turf help with your preparations? Oh, it's wonderful. Um, like I said, I want every day to be challenged. And so when when the Iowa coach called me, who used to be my assistant here at James Madison, and said, "What do you say? Can we, you know, can we come up?" I'm like, "A home game? Absolutely, you can come here." So, you know, I know they're I know they're challenging. I know they're a great team. I know the way they're preparing, um, but I also know the way we're preparing. So, to open up at Iowa at home, big challenge, but um, we'll be prepared for it. At home, you'll also get to renew a rivalry of sorts with an opponent that you are very familiar with when Old Dominion will come to JMU towards the middle point of the season. Nine NCAA championships, 31 tournament appearances. Playing these types of teams, how does that elevate the level of your program, not just on paper, but in practice? You know, one of the things we worked on a lot last year was not playing to the level of our opponent, but really creating our own pace and our own level and playing with consistency. So, you know, you can't have an off day when you're playing the opponents that we're playing. You just can't. You have to um, create consistency in practice and, and really every time you step on that field for competition, play it. Play at a level that's going to be, um, that's going to support beating the best, playing against the best. And in turn, we want to become the best. I think playing this kind of schedule, um, number one, I think we're going to be ready for it. Is it going to be challenging? Absolutely. It's not going to be easy. But there's two ways into the NCAA when you play a schedule like this. Number one, you win your conference. That's one way in. Number two, you, you work to you play a strong schedule. You could possibly get an at-large bid. Um, but now, again, you play the strong schedule, you need to win these games. So it's going to be challenging, but I think, you know, the great ones will rise to the challenge and hopefully will be one of the great ones. Well, last season you played many of your games on the road with only seven home appearances. This year it's kind of the opposite. You'll get ten home games, including six of your last seven games of the season here at home. How does that help to know that towards the latter part of the season where maybe you're – Things aren't as gelling as much as you'd like, or you just hit that hard stride. How comforting is it to know that you'll be on your home turf? Well, number one, it was by, by design, absolutely. I think our field is a great field. Our field is um, faster than most because it's a different type of turf. And so um, 
to to finish the season when when there's a lot at stake on your home site with with the facilities people we have that do such a great job and and the way our, our field is presented I think um, I think it, it gives you a little bit of the edge so yes it was by design and hopefully that design works for us well many of those final home games will be against conference opponents um, as you're all battling for the CAA title in 2014 you were able to make it to the championship game up at Northeastern what's the plan for this year well if you win your conference you host um, in season if you win your conference you host and so um, that's obviously that's what we're going after um, that would be ideal to just have one more home game and then see what happens um, but like I said the conference is growing our conference is, is there's such parity in the conference so every game we play in our conference is going to be a challenge every game on our schedule is going to be a challenge in a different way so um, our goal as a staff is to prepare our team the best we can prepare our team. And, and like I said, we've started that preparation weeks ago. Um, we want to be one of the most fit teams in the nation. We want to control the controllables, and, and right now we're doing that. Well, Coach, I'm sure we're all excited to see what the 2015 Dukes will bring when you guys open the season and when you're at home in the coming fall. Thank you.